From ice jams to torrential rain like we saw in Toronto this week, extreme weather events are happening more often in Canada. And insurance companies are reporting a rise in payouts for damage claims. They say that could lead to higher rates, as Francis Silvaggio reports. If it seems like uncommonly extreme weather is becoming more common, it's because it is, and it's only getting worse. The number of hot days is increasing significantly. The number of heavy precipitation events is increasing. Uh, the occurrence of flooding events is also increasing. We can conceptualize this. According to some of Canada's leading climatologists, severe weather is happening more often and in ways most of us have never seen before. It's got to be some of the worst that I've seen and I've uh, been uh, doing this for about 14 years now. Adaptation to severe weather. The Insurance Bureau of Canada actually commissioned a report to track the severe weather trend and confirm what their financial records already know. In Alberta alone, insurance payouts averaged about $100 million a year between 1983 and 2008. But over the last four years, claims averaged more than $670 million a year, more than two-thirds of Canada's entire payout. The insurance industry uh, claims payouts are, are sort of the canary in the coal mine, so it's a bit of a, a sign. With few other options to recoup costs of weather damage, insurance customers often end up paying the difference, which is why the IBC is urging Canadian leaders to be more proactive in developing things like better building codes, infrastructure inspections and emergency response plans in order to prevent imminent weather hazards from becoming disasters. If you know it's going to rain and you can't stop the rain from coming, smart people usually will grab an umbrella. What we're talking about is grabbing some umbrellas. The IBC isn't just urging, it's doing, spending, for example, nearly $3 million a year for hail suppression in Alberta. Officials say it's a small price to pay, but climatologists warn if society's views on greenhouse gas emissions don't change soon, those already high prices will be even higher. If we continue to see the global emissions total ramping up the way it's going, the forecast I just made for you will be worse. Francis Silvaggio, Global News, Calgary.